But when you and I go for a checkup, you don't need to pull out a credit card. And you won't have to. With a UCP government, you will never have to. No Albertan will ever have to, to pay to see a family doctor out of pocket. Call it the unofficial kickoff to the election campaign. Danielle Smith making her first election promise as party leader of the UCP, not premier, pledging to stick with publicly funded health care and to not axe any services or prescriptions. <laughs> if it seems familiar, it's because then UCP leader Jason Kenney did the same thing ahead of the 2019 election, which later drew criticism for his party's feuding with doctors and nurses. Smith saying that her promise is about clearing the air. Well, that's because the NDP keep lying about what it is we're going to do. They keep on acting as if we're going to impose user fees and that we're, we're going to ask people to pay out of pocket. That is, if you look at our record, that is not the case. She said Albertans should have to pay a deductible if they have major surgery as recently as this last month. However, the NDP's health critic argues the UCP is merely building back up a health care system it had stripped down. David Shepard also claims that Smith's musings on health care spending accounts could mean Albertans will need to dig deeper for health care. She was clear when she first proposed these health care savings accounts that they were a means to begin to introduce the idea that Albertans would pay out of pocket for some health care services. She should be absolutely clear on that point. All the politicians have a $950 health spending account. Rachel Notley has a $950 health spending account. Why should taxpayers pay for her to be able to get the, those services covered when we don't offer that to taxpayers? The Premier's announcement comes as the UCP aims to mend fences with medical workers, which may be what prompted this gesture seemingly pointed at Smith, captured on film Tuesday. The opposition arguing the government's latest pledge is simply too late. So this clearly is a premier and a government that are desperate to try to rewrite their record on health care on the eve of an election. In Edmonton, Corny Terrio, City News.